The learning objectives of this module are to know the indications for intraosseous cannulation, to know the contraindications for intraosseous cannulation, to be able to outline how to perform intraosseous access, and to identify potential complications of intraosseous access. So now we're going to demonstrate an intraosseous line. Um, first, indications. So this is when we need to administer fluids or drugs rapidly and IV access is not readily obtainable. Contraindications may include fracture, previous penetration of the bone, overlying soft tissue injury, and osteogenesis imperfecta. So the equipment that we need for this is an IO drill, then the IO needle, as well as your syringe, your stabilizer, your cleaning, and then your connector. So to start with the procedure, we first do a timeout. We position the baby and identify our anatomy. We are going to do a tibial intraosseous line. So right now the baby is pretty well positioned. What I'm going to do is identify the flat area about two to three centimeters below the tuberosity, which should be right about here. After I identify my anatomy, I'm going to clean. and then put my equipment together. I'm going to remove the safety and expose the needle. I'm going to position my hand, being careful not to place my fingers below the area that I'm drilling. I can re-identify my anatomy and aim at close to a 90 degree angle but slightly angled down away from the growth plate. At this point, I stabilize, remove the drill, unscrew the insertion needle, which I place into a safety. Then I secure it. or ask someone to secure it for me. I connect. And first I aspirate. And then if this were filled with saline, I could flush in saline or my medication. The following may confirm correct placement of the intraosseous catheter. It may be possible to aspirate bone marrow with a syringe. However, this does not always occur, even with correctly positioned intraosseous catheters. The intraosseous catheter should stand upright without support and should flush without fluid extravasation. Complications may include placing the needle through the entire bone, incomplete penetration of bone, infection, compartment syndrome with infiltration, or disruption of the growth plate.